Microfluidics revolutionizes how we power our lives. Technology is shrinking, getting tinier and more powerful. Traditional batteries can't keep up. Enter microfluidic fuel cells, tiny powerhouses transforming energy. Join us as we explore this fascinating realm. All right, science fans, let's get down to the nitty gritty of how these microfluidic fuel cells actually work. At their core, they operate on the principles of electrochemistry, the science of how chemical reactions can generate electricity and vice versa. Now don't let the word electrochemistry intimidate you. It's all about the flow of electrons, those tiny, negatively charged particles that zip around atoms. When electrons move from one molecule to another, that movement creates an electrical current, the same kind that powers our homes and gadgets. In a microfluidic fuel cell, the key players in this electron exchange are the fuel and the oxidant. Think of the fuel as the electron donor. It's got extra electrons to spare. The oxidant, on the other hand, is the electron acceptor. It's eager to grab those electrons. But here's the catch. Electrons don't just jump willy-nilly between molecules. They need a specific pathway, a sort of electron highway to travel along. And that's where the microchannels come in. They provide the perfect conduit for this electrifying journey. Section 3, Microchannels, the tiny highways of electron flow. Now imagine these microchannels as tiny highways, meticulously designed to guide the flow of electrons and facilitate the redox reactions. These channels, often thinner than a human hair, are where the real magic of microfluidic fuel cells unfolds. Within these minuscule conduits, the fuel and oxidant flow side by side, separated by a carefully engineered barrier that prevents them from mixing directly. This separation is crucial because it forces the electrons to take a detour through an external circuit to complete the redox dance. Think of it like this. The fuel, eager to lose its electrons, wants to reach the oxidant on the other side of the channel. But the barrier forces the electrons to take a longer route through the external circuit, powering our devices before they can finally reunite with the oxidant. This ingenious design is what allows microfluidic fuel cells to continuously generate electricity as long as there's a steady supply of fuel and oxidant flowing through those tiny highways of electron flow. In microfluidic fuel cells, tiny channels are crafted arenas for energy production. The design of these channels is crucial for efficiency. Engineers create diverse designs, each with unique benefits. Straight channels enhance rapid fluid flow, while serpentine ones maximize surface area for reactions. It's like designing a racetrack for reactants. Straight channels are like straightaways, and serpentine channels are like curves, slowing down for interaction. The quest for the perfect energy source. We've explored microchannels and the dance of oxidation and reduction, but what about the fuel that drives these marvels? Just like cars need gasoline, our tiny power plants need the right fuel. Choosing the ideal fuel is like picking the perfect ingredient. It's about balancing energy density, handling safety, and environmental impact. Hydrogen is lightweight but tricky to store. Methanol is easier to handle but offers less energy density. The quest for the perfect fuel is ongoing. Section 3 methanol and formic acid liquid powerhouses. Now let's talk about some liquid contenders. Methanol and formic acid. Unlike their gaseous cousin hydrogen, these fuels are much easier to handle at room temperature. No need for bulky compression tanks or cryogenic cooling, just pour them in and go. Methanol, also known as wood alcohol, is a clear, colorless liquid that's already widely used as a solvent, antifreeze, and fuel. It's relatively inexpensive to produce and can be derived from renewable sources like biomass, making it an attractive option for sustainable energy. Formic acid, on the other hand, is a slightly more corrosive liquid, but it boasts a higher energy density than methanol. It's naturally found in ant venom, hence the name, and can also be produced synthetically. Both methanol and formic acid offer a compelling combination of practicality and performance, making them well-suited for microfluidic fuel cells that power portable electronics, medical devices, and other applications where ease of use is key. Section 2, Laminar Flow, The Art of Fluid Choreography. So, 
How does this laminar flow magic actually work? It all boils down to the behavior of fluids at the micro scale. When fluids flow through channels that are small enough, their viscosity, their resistance to flow, becomes a dominant force. Imagine honey slowly oozing out of a jar, that's high viscosity. Now picture water flowing smoothly through a pipe, that's lower viscosity. In microfluidic channels, the high surface area to volume ratio amplifies the effects of viscosity, keeping the fluids in line. Think of it like this. The fuel and oxidant streams are like two lines of dancers moving gracefully across a ballroom floor. As long as they maintain their speed and spacing, they can glide past each other without ever colliding. This laminar flow phenomenon allows microfluidic fuel cells to operate without the need for expensive and delicate membranes, simplifying the design, reducing costs, and enhancing overall efficiency. It's a testament to the power of harnessing the unique properties of fluids at the micro scale. Now imagine our electron tango is a bit slow and sluggish. The fuel and oxidant are hesitant dancers, reluctant to exchange their electrons. That's where catalysts come in. These molecular matchmakers speed up the reaction rate, boosting the fuel cell's performance. Think of catalysts as the life of the party, encouraging the fuel and oxidant to loosen up and get the electron exchange flowing. They do this by providing an alternative reaction pathway with a lower activation energy, the energy hump that reactions need to overcome. One of the most popular catalysts for microfluidic fuel cells is platinum, a precious metal known for its ability to facilitate both oxidation and reduction reactions. It's like the ultimate dance instructor, guiding the electrons with grace and efficiency. However, platinum is also quite expensive, which has led researchers to explore alternative catalysts such as nickel, cobalt, and even enzymes, nature's own catalysts. The search for cheaper and more abundant catalysts is crucial for making microfluidic fuel cells a viable energy solution for the masses. Now let's journey beyond our pockets and into the vast expanse of our planet where microfluidic fuel cells are playing a crucial role in environmental monitoring. Imagine a network of tiny sensors scattered across forests, oceans, and even remote glaciers, silently collecting vital data about our planet's health. These sensors, often deployed in harsh and inaccessible environments, need a reliable and long-lasting power source to keep them running. And that's where microfluidic fuel cells come in, offering a sustainable and self-sufficient energy solution for remote sensing applications. Imagine a microfluidic fuel cell-powered sensor perched atop a towering redwood, monitoring air quality and transmitting data back to researchers in real time. Or picture a similar sensor submerged in the ocean depths, tracking ocean currents and salinity levels to help us understand climate change. By providing a continuous and localized source of energy, Microfluidic fuel cells are enabling scientists to gather crucial environmental data that was previously out of reach. It's a testament to how these tiny powerhouses are helping us better understand and protect our planet. Now let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, sustainability. We're all concerned about the health of our planet, and finding cleaner, greener energy solutions is more important than ever. So, where do microfluidic fuel cells fit into this equation? Well, my friends, the future is looking bright. Traditional batteries, while convenient, often rely on toxic materials and have a limited lifespan, leading to environmental concerns when it comes to disposal. Microfluidic fuel cells, on the other hand, offer a more sustainable approach. For starters, many microfluidic fuel cells can run on fuels derived from renewable sources, such as hydrogen produced from solar or wind power, or methanol derived from biomass. This means we can generate power without relying on fossil fuels, reducing our carbon footprint. Plus, the byproducts of microfluidic fuel cell reactions are often minimal and environmentally benign. Remember, when hydrogen reacts with oxygen, the only byproduct is water. Talk about a clean energy source. Section 3. The future is micro a new era of sustainable power. So what does the future hold for microfluidic fuel cells? The answer, my friends, is brimming with possibilities. Imagine a world where microfluidic fuel cells power our smartphones, wearables, and even electric vehicles, providing a sustainable and convenient alternative to traditional batteries. Think of developing countries leapfrogging traditional power grids 
embracing a decentralized energy future powered by these tiny yet mighty energy sources, an energy abundant future for all. The Future of Tiny Power Brilliant minds are pushing the boundaries of microfluidic fuel cells. Imagine these cells powering everything from smartphones to electric vehicles. Medical implants could draw energy from our bodies. Remote sensors could monitor our planet, powered by nature. Expect more innovations from wearables to IoT devices. The journey into tiny power is just beginning.